Hi, welcome to Sumery P. I've been asked to make a lactose-free or low lactose mac and cheese. So I've come up with a mac and cheese that's easy, tastes delicious, and it's made with oat milk. So if you want a mac and cheese that has no milk, real milk, come with me and let's see. So for our mac and cheese, we've got some macaroni noodles that I've already pre-boiled, 500 mils of oat milk, some parmesan cheese, some pre-grated cheddar cheese, breadcrumbs for the top, and mustard. Plus we need a little bit of oil and flour for our sauce, and paprika on top, that's it. So let's get cooking. So we need to start making the sauce. So we need to heat either butter or oil in the bottom. So because I'm trying not to use a lot of dairy, I'm gonna add no butter, but I'm gonna use oil. And I'm just going to use one and a little bit, about one and a half tablespoons of the oil. Then we need to add some flour, add one tablespoon approximately of that. This is what's called making a roux. So when it becomes like a paste in the bottom of the pan. So then we start adding a little bit of milk, just a fraction at a time, because we want to make the sauce thick. We have all of our milk in there now and the sauce is thickening. We're just going to add a pinch of nutmeg. This is my mum's secret ingredient in any cream or white sauce. Some pepper, some salt. Then I have a teaspoon of the Dijon mustard or French mustard. Gives it a nice kick, but if you don't like mustard, you can leave that out. About half the packet of the, the cheddar. We want to throw in a handful of our parmesan cheese and we'll leave the rest of the cheese for when we layer it with the pasta. So all you need to do is just stir this until the cheese is melted. We want the sauce to be reasonably runny as we need to incorporate the pasta. Gonna add the pasta that I cooked before. It's going a bit hard. It's important not to overcook the pasta because it, it cooks again when it's in the oven. So the packet says six to eight minutes, so I just cooked this for five minutes. So we'll combine this. We don't need the heat anymore, so we turn the heat off. That's it. Now we start layering. One thing I forgot, I'm just going to add a little bit of chopped up parsley, just for colour. It's not completely necessary. Now we start layering our mac and cheese. First step, we're going to spray the base of our lasagna dish. Just one layer, probably half of the, the pasta. We're gonna add Parmesan cheese to this layer. You wouldn't say this is my super healthy recipe. In winter, sometimes you need some cheesy pasta goodness. Add more cheese. Add the Parmesan cheese. If you want to swap it out for vegan cheese to make it totally vegan friendly, you can do so. Our breadcrumbs to go on top. I've started using panko breadcrumbs and they're really good. Or if you've got old stale bread, you can use the stale bread, just break it into chunks. And then I like to be a little bit decorative and put some paprika on top. That's it. So the next step in your mac and cheese is you need to bake this, so it's golden brown, a 200 degrees oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. The mac and cheese has come out of the oven and it's bubbling and really, really warm. Mm, the cheese smells delicious. Mmm, delicious. Now the crunchy top. Mmm, crisp and light. Mmm. It's not something you want to have every night, but every now and then you just want something warm and hearty and delicious. Try my mac and cheese. Thank you for watching today. Please comment below if you've tried this recipe and you like what you've made. And if you've got any ideas on anything that you'd like me to make, please let me know. Send me a message. See you next time.